Hello and what's up everyone, Thunderbob here, and I am checking out a new game tonight. This is Dorf Romantic from developer Tukana Interactive. This came out April 28th. This is available on Steam currently for $13.99. It has very, very overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. There's 14,000 of them currently, and uh, the developer was kind enough to offer me a key to check this out. Um, I'm definitely into city building type games. This is described as a peaceful building strategy and puzzle game where you create a beautiful and ever-growing village landscape by placing tiles. And I've just gone through the tutorial, I don't know a lot about it, but basically what I know about it is it's kind of like a pleasant, um, easy-going experience. You're basically, uh, you have these tiles over here, and every time you place one down, you get a new tile, and you're trying to match up, like, the edges of the tile. Like, if you ever played the board game Carcassonne, it is very reminiscent of that to me. That's a board game I really enjoy. So, like, you get additional points by placing like tiles next to each other. Certain tiles can only be done by, by certain others and things like that. Like, I'm trying to make the forest real big here. And then you get ones that are like the, uh, the river here. And you can notice I cannot make this river where the water will go through the land. So you gotta, like almost strategize a little bit and as you place this down it expands the play area further uh, and also train tracks kind of similar here and it's a score based game my scores going up here in the top this is how many tiles I have left there are there are quests you get so like this one is is houses so if I have five houses in proximity to each other uh, I will get additional tiles and you notice like if I if I place this down then I'll need four more Actually, if I can do this right, I can get both the trees and the house kind of bonus here. So there is some strategy to it, but it's a really calm, sedate. Like, I call these games kind of palette cleansers. Like, last week, I put a ton of time into Diablo 2 Resurrected. Specifically, I was playing um, solo, self-found, hardcore. Which is like, if you die, you start over. And I played, like, way more of that game than I should have. And I needed something to kind of calm me down. And this is the kind of game I would boot up in those circumstances. Like, I don't necessarily think there's even like a fail state. Like, the game just ends when you run out of tiles. Just kind of a calm, chill, fun uh, experience. And I can totally get behind that. And I, I love Carcassonne, and this so much reminded me of that. That's, I think, the main reason I, I booted this up and uh, why I accepted uh, the key from the developer. points here and it looks like there are like kind of uh, achievement type things up here I got some fields here and some water so I could kind of like so we got train tracks there so I gotta be careful we go. I feel like I want the river to go this way not that way I got just kind of like a blank. Put that there. And I got another river one, which I could use in different ways. tracks and I won't let me put it there because you'll see like it would make the train tracks go into a non train track space but yeah this is just very cool like just jump in and, and kind of enjoy type of game like there's not a lot of thought you have to put into it it just kind of it's just simple to just can play it I'm gonna try to loop this all the way around if I can add at least one water piece to, to fill this quest or two pieces to fill this quest add at least 100 okay so trees at least six fields for this quest. Okay. 
kind of want to loop it and try to connect and make like a circle with it. And that was another six field quest. See my cards, my tiles keep going up. I got that one too, 67. So I'm assuming like you're trying to get a high score while at the same time, you know, expanding your your stack of cards here through quests and yeah, it's just like a cool experience. I'm definitely digging it. And I can connect those two. Finish one quest, two more for that one. I feel like I can almost double up on this one. And the controls are super simple. Um, your mouse wheel spins the tile around. WASD can move you around. Um, you can spin the game world with Q and, and E, or you can right click and do the same. But I don't really, I feel like you don't really need to do that. Maybe when the world gets huge. You have never done do button. I didn't see that. That's like, hey, if you're an idiot, here's, here's the button. Here's the idiot button. I feel like you could take your time with this or you could kind of rush through it. I think the tutorial said something like if you get like six tiles of the same type you get a bonus too. I didn't completely understand that point but I think that's what I just got there. I want to connect these two pieces. That would break that quest, so I don't want to do it that way. I love just trying to like fit it together where you can get as many bonuses as possible. I've got the Steam Deck that came in last week. Actually, I've got the second one that'll be here this week. Oh, I kind of screwed up this mission because I, I need a train track that's got trees on it, too. Shoot. Hmm. I'm not going to be able to do that one. Uh, but I got the Steam Deck this week, and I've been super impressed with it, having a lot of fun with it. And uh, what I'm going to try to do in the future is to uh, to do, like whenever I, I preview a new game, also play a little bit of it on the Steam Deck. I need to get a capture card. Uh, mine is not working with the Steam Deck. So once I get that in, I'll start introducing some Steam Deck footage into these preview videos. So keep an eye out for that. I feel like I made some mistakes here for a game that's so like simple it's also kind of stressful maybe you could make anything stressful okay the thing is I need one of these but with like trees on it Water train station. So you like, un I guess, unlock new uh, tile types. Again, very reminiscent of uh, Carcassonne, where like there's expansions with different um, kind of bonuses that you can get, different tile types and stuff. Definitely, greatly reminds me of of that game, that board game. I don't know what this is. Oh, boat? That's cool.
I'm definitely digging this right now. It's like a very calming experience. I like making my little village. I want to make like a a Venice, like all navigable by the water. Just need one more train track there. Still waiting for like the perfect tile over here. <coughs> Excuse me. Perfect. Wonder how long these games can go. Like my tiles aren't going down too steadily. Locomotive. I'm assuming I'll get one of those pieces here eventually. Does that not count towards? Oh, I gotta turn it, that's why. I should probably be looking at like the upcoming tiles and making like plans. Your game world definitely gets big fast. Oh yeah, and then there's close the group by placing tiles at the highlighted edges. Okay. So I can complete this flag by placing tiles at these edges over here. I don't know if it means specifically the forest ones. Wouldn't let me connect it, that was kind of weird. Exactly five water pieces. Oh, will it not let me, uh... It... Why did it cancel that quest? I don't understand. Oh, exactly five water pieces. That's why it was wanting... Look, my boat. It's going in the water now. That's cool. This is like such a... Like a calming game. Get a lavender, whatever that does. Some water. I want to connect all these pieces here. I still, I'm looking for like the perfect. Got those all connected now. Got my whole like circuit here for my for my for my water. Kind of therapeutic.
So it wants me to, like, finish, I think. See, I get it now. I was only planning on playing this for, like, 15 minutes, but, like, I kind of... exactly five. I feel like my residential district over here. Ah, there's another exact one. Now I'm running out of tiles. I'm making mistakes. I feel like it is getting more complex as I go. Did I not? Did I not? Oh, it wants me to put something over there. Which I feel like I don't have the thing to be able to... Things to highlight it? I feel like they don't spell those out as well as they could. But I feel like... I don't see any green left on there, do you? They don't see anything. If I'm missing something, let me know. Problem is, if I do this, I need like the very specific Piece. I'm not going to really complete those two. I think I boned myself. I'm not in the good way. So I can't c connect to that now. Damn it. Mistakes were made. Dark romantic. really liking my little waterway over here. The boat. I still haven't got my train, though. I want that train. Which one's this? Is this in exactly? It won't, like, tell me for some reason. But if I go here, it fails. I'm assuming it's, like, an exactly five type of deal. Yeah. See, if I put this here, then that train is never going to go anywhere. Yeah. Ooh, just water. that quest though, right? I still don't understand how that boat quest works. Is that an exact? Yeah, exactly five. I'm about to run out of tiles. You gotta watch where you put those train pieces. That's my the biggest downfall here. I 
still haven't been able to connect my like train over here. If I'm out of tiles. Alright. Four thousand six hundred and ninety. I don't know where that is on the leaderboard. Let's save that. So you can turn the UI on and off. And I bring the UI back. You can continue in creative mode. Oh, you can just keep going. That's kind of cool. Freeze tile stack. Discard tile. Oh, that's kind of cool. If you can, like, force it to give you the tile that you want. I mean, you're not getting any points now, but if you just want to build a city that any kind of scoring mechanic. Classic mode, creative mode, quick mode. Quick mode allows you for short, snappy round. Try to beat your high score. Hard mode. Monthly mode. Was there a leaderboard? You know, I saw it said leaderboard, but it didn't like show me my placement on it. But you know what? I'm like super in love with this game. It's it's like so calm. I think I just spent 30 minutes building this and like I didn't really want to stop. Yeah. I could see why it's got so many good reviews on Steam. If you're looking for like a very calm, easygoing village city simulator type game. Or if you like a board game like Carcassonne, like tile placement and like trying to maximize your points and stuff. Uh, I think this could definitely be uh, a game you might enjoy. I'm definitely, this one, this first game, I'm like, I'm digging it. I think I'll probably play a lot more of this. Uh, I'm going to check this out on the Steam Deck as well, see how it runs there, and I'll report back what I find. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this, please do like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Thank you for watching, and have a good night, everyone.